Hey guys, Dr. Anderson here, and I'm uh, holding an ultrasound machine, but uh, I'm going to introduce Chris, and he came all the way from Florida, Pensacola, Florida, to, and he drove, <laughs> with hopes of reversing his wrist and leg, surgery is planned for tomorrow, and I'm going to show you something with this ultrasound, but I just want to say, how'd you find out about us, and how'd you come to get in, here? In researching the problem, trying to alleviate it, right. I, I came across some of your videos on YouTube, and back then it was just a, a wish. I wish oh, I could find this guy and go get this done. I had no idea that it was something that my insurance would cover, and I could just schedule it and make it happen. And make it happen. Okay, well, cool. Uh, so we're going to show this to you, because his, his ultrasound is really nice to look, to look at this particular nerve. One of the nerves, there's usually about three nerve tunnels that we open up, folks. If you're new to this, we get rid of pressure on these nerves because we believe the majority of cases, restless legs is caused by tight nerve tunnels in the legs. They're all below the knee, but this one is called the superficial perineal nerve. It's right above the ankle. And if you look up here, you can see that's the nerve, that dark area, you can zoom up there. That's the actual nerve. And the white band across the top of it is the fascial, it's like fascia tissue, it's like gristle. And as I'm moving this down, it's like I'm moving it down the leg, you can see the shape of that nerve changes. It's very flat and, and like a pancake. And as I go back up towards his knee, it's rounder. So I'm telling you that shows there's pressure on the nerve. The nerve actually changes its shape. And that's what's happening. The nerve comes down the leg. It actually comes from the underneath that fascia, the outside. And what you saw there was a pressure on the nerve. So that's physical evidence. Again, we've seen, you've seen these videos before if you've been on my YouTube channel. We'd like to show these to you. It shows evidence of tightness of the nerve tunnel. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and learn more about this just like Chris did.